scale. last goes right in this first cut right here and that'll give me about five eighths of an inch maybe 11 but enough so i got plenty to plane simple procedure and it's not perfect but it worked quiet yeah so the last video i did i don't know what happened the videos kept shutting off halfway through i had a hell of a time rendering it didn't go good um it was just some clips are missing it, so it may not make sense there when you watched it and i when you watched it and i apologize if it did um this one here is going a little better i hope i haven't rendered it yet and all that but um Anyway, hopefully when you watch this one, it'll come out a little better. Um, I came out this morning when that blade stopped in that cut. Of course, I thought that I had bound up. Well, in reality, I had run out of fuel and I didn't know it. Um, that's why it didn't make it out. I cranked and cranked and cranked this morning. Nothing. Tank's dry. Finally, I just had a look in the tank, I guess. Well, it was empty. So, anyway, I got it. She's cutting a full depth now. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll bring you back here when we get done with this log here. We'll see what kind of quality we got out of it. And uh, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe. You know, I really appreciate it. I know a lot of you guys watch it that don't. And uh, But I try to have good content. Sometimes it might not be quite as good as it should be. But anyway... I'll talk to you later. I'll bring you back here when you get that log saw. Well, I got this all cut. Um, I wanted to show you the shake that appeared. And I don't know if it's shake from impact or if it's shake from just tension in the log. I got a good, good idea it's probably tension in the log. Because when you have growth rings that are tight on one side and not on the other, and the heart's off center that much, you can see right here. We lost a bunch of clapboards. It's, I don't know how far up it's gonna run on them, but uh, you know, those are all broke and there's some here that are all broke. You know, you can see that shake right there. You know, them are all just shit. Yeah, that's even out here where you don't see it. So I don't know, these seem to be all right. You really won't know till you start breaking them out, but kind of disappointing you know you do all that work and yeah i'd say we're probably going to lose at least 25 percent of this log as far as volume um and then we got the the red rod on the other end we got to contend with um yeah that's down it's actually a good thing because it's on the same area as what the uh, shake is on so anyway i'm going to break these off here and uh, it's just starting to rain here. It's supposed to pour this afternoon. I'm going to try to get these off and get them in the building right there and get them dry. And I'll bring you back in a little bit. Well, as you can see, most of these, by the time you break off all of your shake, they go down to about four and a half, which if I'm careful, I can make that into a finished five inch clapboard. Because the five inch clapboard finishes at four and a half or thereabouts. And uh, that one there. By the time you get back a little ways, it's four and five eighths. You know, that one there is four and five eighths. Um, a lot of these, I'm just gonna cut them back. This one here, I'll have to cut some off the end. 
I'm not going to make four inch clapboards. Um, that only goes, well, probably that far right there. And uh, get my tape measure back out. Once I get up beyond that, yeah, it's five inch, so I can, I can trim it to four and a half. So they're not a total waste, they're clears. Um, I got a couple of them. This one here is one that, you know, by the time I finish five and a half, that one I think will go as a clear eight footer. Haven't got many of them though. Most of them, the shake has got them on one end or the other. Yeah, this one's five and a half. And uh, this one here will clean. This will go as a six inch when it's done, which finishes at five and a half, no shake in it. But yeah, I'm having a hell of a time. As you can see, all the pieces on the ground. Um, <laughs> pretty discouraging when you open them up. And that's what you've got right down through. Um, of course, this is your weak point now. And you got to, out here, it's shaky too. You know, that one's shaking quite a lot of places. So if you try to just bend it, it'll follow this line and it may go all the way to the top. So what I do is I run my tool in underneath. I'll show you here in a second. So this tool here has got a little bit of a bend on it. Um, so I go right up in and I put the bend up so that I'm pushing right in close. Like that. And it's still it's chasing right down that seam, but it's better than if you just tried to do it with the hand. And you smack it on the end with a hammer. It'll come off. But this right here is all junk. You know, might as well throw it right away. And then there's some more shake. This one's got shake way out here. I don't know if you can see that, but that whole clapboard right there is junk, from one end to the other. Just the nature of the beast. Throw that in the burn pile. Oh, I'll we'll try the next one. That one don't look good either. Oh, that one ain't shake. Yeah, a little bit right there. Yeah. That's alright. We'll uh, peel it right off. Then I'll know what I got to deal with. Um, I can make a narrow clapboard out of it. This end here will get shake also. Yeah. Oh yeah. This got shake right here too. Yeah, that one's junk too. Pretty bad, all clear wood and it's right full of shake. But anyway, I'm gonna peel the rest of these off. Kind of discouraging. No sense for you to be here for the sad story, so I'll shut you off. Well, we got uh, probably 20 of nice straight clears with no shake, no red rod in them. Um, all the rest of them, one end to the other, has got issues. A lot of these here that look perfect on this end, the other end's got red rot. Um, and you can see how they broke off the center. They just... The grain was not happy on this log. It was doing all kinds of crazy shit. But, you know, we got it. That center's got rod on this end, got rod on the other end. I'm not even gonna put it on a mill to saw it. I'll just uh, saw that one up into pieces and make kindling out of it. Cause that's all it's good for as far as I'm concerned. But I'm gonna go stick this and see what I get out of it. We'll uh, be back.
Well, I got, I ended up with 75 clapboards on the pile. Um, as you can see, a lot of them, you know, they get pretty thin on the other end. Um, the ones with a shake on them, you know, and then I had a bunch with red rot. Um, you know, some of this red rot right here will go all three, four feet down them. So if I only had the red rod on one end and it wasn't shaky on the other end, then I can get a four foot clapboard. Which, you know, two of them make eight feet. I mean, no matter how you slice it. So, yeah, it is what it is. You know, you can't see inside of a log. I'm glad I didn't have to pay for that log when I bought it or got it because, you know, if we'd have paid three seventy five a thousand, like the going rate, um, yeah, we'd have taken a bath on it, but uh, it's all right. I'm pretty happy with it. What I do have is good. Uh, I think there's only two, uh, two or three clapboards that have a knot in them. You know, that one has got a knot right there, but from here down, it's got shake in it. So, whoop, yes, sir, right on the, right on the damn dirt. Yeah. Yeah. I'll trim that end off of the skill saw before I plane it. But yeah, this one here has got shake. You can see it right there. If I can get the damn camera so I can see. There we go. Yeah, so this shake will go quite a ways. And it stops right there. But there's no sense to have this little 12 inch piece because this right here is a defect. Well, I might, I might cut it off right here because the back end ain't got a defect in it. I'll let that go as a number one, so. Yeah, there's a lot to think about when you're planing and cutting the ends off and, you know, grading everything. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. You know, between these two videos, that's pretty much what there is to making clapboards. That's rift sawn clapboards, also known as radially sawn. They're not quarter sawn. We didn't split the log into quarters and flip it. And uh, you don't actually get vertical grain on every cut with quarter sawn lumber. So, you get close to it, but it's varying degrees. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Talk to you later.